everyone, it's Anna here and I have another process video for you today. This one is created for uh, Shimmers paints and I will be using their gorgeous products. Uh, and this will be a winter kind of a layout, so I chose all my blue mists and I checked them uh, on my um, in my notebook where I make swatches and I chose the matching colors. I have a watercolor paper scraps and I will spray them with a um, few uh, shades of blue. I am using four vibes colors. Blue Jeans, Cold as Ice, Snowy Man and Jenny B. Blue. Um, and this one, uh, the most turquoise one is Jenny B. Blue. The darkest uh, blue is Blue Jeans and two uh, pale blues are Cold as Ice and Snowy, Snowy Man. After uh, my paper scraps are dry, I uh, cut a lot of snowflakes using my uh, old <laughs> Hello Kitty Big Shot machine and some Tim Holtz dies, I think. Um, as you can see, I have plenty of snowflakes in different shades of blues and now I need to uh, customize my background. I have a white paper sheet uh, of watercolor paper and I am going to add some shimmer to it. That's why I chose two shimmer stains. The, the one I am using right now is called Silver Bells and um, this paint is quite thick and you have to mix it before you use it. Um, that's why I was using this plastic palette knife to mix my paint and I added a little bit of the paint over, over my uh, painting palette and I diluted it with water because as I said paint is thick and I didn't uh, didn't want to achieve any uh, textures I just want to add this shimmer like it's a um, frozen uh, kind of a design you know and the second color I am using right now this color is called Precious Metal and I use it only to add some accents because it's quite um, quite dark but the color itself is gorgeous, really, I really can't describe it. It's not uh, a silver color yet, not, um, not black, it has this warm tones inside and it really looks pretty. And uh, if you like uh, tones like this, like silvers, grays, it will be just perfect for you. And now it's time uh, to back up my picture with some paper scraps. I don't remember the names of the papers because um, those are my paper scraps and I uh, after I uh, cut a part of the paper and I have only some scraps left, I usually, usually put them into the box uh, by colors. So I just grabbed my uh, blue pocket and chose a few uh, blue papers. That's why I am not. I think this is some of the Studio Calico. Uh, papers but really I am not sure and I don't want to <laughs> mislead you uh, but they are all in my blue pocket and I have yellow pocket pink pocket and stuff like that that's why when I need a matching color of the paper I always have some and if I have a collections I keep my papers by collections, but if I am only having some random papers, I put them into the scrap box. Uh, so this is how I store my papers. If you would, <laughs> would be interested in that information. And I really think it's a convenient way to uh, keep your uh, paper scraps because I scrap usually by colors and thanks to this kind of a storage I always have a matching uh, papers. I don't have to dig into some numerous pile of papers. And now I'm picking some embellishments uh, and I uh, forgot I have this Snow and Cocoa collection from uh, Great Paper 
I know they they re-released it uh, this winter, but I have the stuff from the last year. I made uh, December daily using this collection and I have some uh, leftovers and I thought it would be fun to use them on the layout because this is kind of uh, my uh, New Year's resolution to use up older stuff. New releases didn't blow me away. That's why I think it's time to reach to the uh, to the boxes with older collections and have fun with them. And now it's time to arrange my uh, my snowflakes. Uh, as you can see, the shades vary between them, and I really like this effect. But I didn't want them to lie that flat. That's why I am using a 3D foam squares under each of it. So it will be a boring part when I'm adding uh, dot after dot. I will cut it out, and I will go back when they will be all glued down. So you won't have to watch me doing it, and. Voila, they are all glued down and it's time to embellish my page. Uh, I thought my title will be just brr. I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English, but I, I think quite the same. And I have a several brrrs in my uh, sticker, so I'm going to, uh, to use the same many times in one layout. Um, I am using Snow and Cocoa collection mostly, but those, uh, those snowmen are from some older Pebbles collection. I uh, can't recall the name of this collection and I only have this one sticker sheet, but I wanted to use the snowmen from this collection because they are covered with this white iridescent uh, glitter and I think they will match the shiniest part of my layout and now uh, this is uh, basically just playing with embellishments adding more and more and more <laughs> and as you can see another brr and uh, I thought I will not use them <laughs> at all because you know uh, it's a funny word, um, we use it in uh, Polish only to show how uh, how cold we are, but it's in the moment when we are cold, cold we doesn't use it anyway uh, later when we are at home and describing that we were uh, playing in the snow and we were frozen. No, it's only like when you really uh, feel cold you just say brr i don't know if uh, americans use it the same way mm, or maybe it's an actual word out there in the world uh, but not in polish uh, it's uh, let's drop it <laughs> okay mm, i am also adding uh, those puffy stickers in uh, star shapes they are from the new release of pink fresh studio the mix number two and there are uh, two sets of puffy stickers one set is uh, colorful stars and the second set is uh, colorful uh, hearts and i have them both and i love them there are so many stickers in this one sheet and they matches every project because they have the colors in all rainbow colors and this is some experiment that I didn't like with uh, the word from the sticker sheet uh, but I'm not done with this page am I not I'm not uh, sorry I made it I think two weeks ago and I don't quite recall what exactly I did with this page I really should <laughs> record my voiceovers right after I made a page, but there is really usually no time to do that and I need a peaceful and quiet home to record a um, voiceover because usually when I'm trying to do this uh, in the daylight, my kids have a lot of stuff uh, for me to listen, to advise 
and I usually have to record it few times and I forget what I was talking about previously and yeah I don't like doing it that's why I need to wait for some evening when they are all asleep and the house is quiet and I am adding more and more embellishments as you can see I added a lot of brr, hello snow and other winter themed uh, words and I'm done with embellishing uh, and it's time to finish my page with some splatters I'm using Genevieve Bleu I think miss but I'm not using the nozzle I am using the brush because nozzles in shimmers mists are curved and they doesn't splash nicely and I also decided to add some uh, precious metal uh, splatters that's why I added uh, a water uh, to dilute it uh, and that's why they Mm, were better to splash and remember to mention my name Anna when you are uh, placing the order in the shimmer store you will get a free mini product and it's always fun to get a free mini product for only mentioning my name right and those were the close-ups for my page thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye